And behind the white safety line, this tram is now departing. Once again, please stand clear. We are now departing. Yes, we are. We are now departing. Hey, man, how you doing? All right. Well, good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Everybody ready to have a good time? All right, that's what I'm talking about. Turn up, baby. Oh, yeah. We have just left Mobile Tram Stop number one for parking lot C, D, and E. And Bush Garden will be closing at 7 o'clock. Last tram is going to be 7.30. All right, my name is Marcus, and your driver is Leonard. Everybody say good morning, Leonard. Good morning, Leonard. All righty, that's what I'm talking about. Over here on the right-hand side, we pass by the Montu. The Montu is going to take you and flip you seven times. It's reaching the top speed of 70 miles per hour. Yes, yes, yeah, that's a bad member jam, but make sure you go check it out. All right, if you want to get on the ride, that's going to take you super, super duper high. Make sure you get on that Falcon Fury. Yeah, that Falcon Fury is going to take you all way up 335 feet it's drop you down 60 miles per hour <laughs> now folks i must say now if you are wearing your wig before you get on that ride make sure that ride make sure that wig is probably secure on your head okay i'm telling you we don't want that wig to come flying off once you drop i'm telling you it has happened okay so make sure everything is probably secured on that ride before you get on it but like i say it's, it's a fun ride don't be afraid of it don't be afraid Right here, we'll be going on the second truck with me. I want Sarah and so far, he said, did he? Yeah. Stop Sarah and so far, he said, did he? Yes, 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 yes. Really? Oh, really? Oh, oh, oh. Lady, don't like it. Yeah. Tell you, really, man. They're trying to pick a few drafts up. Oh, wait. Down in the middle. Everyone, welcome to the back of this area. Get a truck. Very exciting. Has anyone been on this tour before? No. All right. Yeah, we're waiting for a photographer to come on, so we're just going to give her a few seconds here. All right, so my name is Laura. I'm going to be your narrator telling you all about the animals on the back of the truck. We also have Casey. She's going to be our driver in just a few minutes. And we also have Brittany. Everyone say hi, Brittany. Welcome hi. Hi. Fabulous. Okay. Also, if you drop anything while we're out there, please let me know, even if you don't want it back. There's our sign, everyone. Hold on, please. Even if it's trash or a loved one or something you don't want back, please let me know. Because the animals, just like toddlers, they see it, it's going to go right in their mouths, okay? The easiest way to tell them apart is to look at the stomachs. Can anyone tell me what color stomachs do those zebras have? White. White stomachs. Very good. The common zebra, the other species of zebra we have, have striped stomachs. And in fact, they're the only species of zebra to have those striped bellies. Now, of course, ahead of us, you will also see our tall, gorgeous blondes, those with a reticulated giraffe. And next to them, we have the common eland. Now, this is Forrest, our black rhino. Looking at the black rhino, what is something you notice about the black? black? Yes, he's not black. Right. Actually, right now, he's kind of Cheeto colored on the sides there. If you were to give all rhinos a good scrub down, they'd all be gray. He looks this nice, muddy orange, muddy white color because he's been rolling around in the, anyone want to guess? The mud. The mud, yes. And that is why you never stand behind your rhino. Oh, yeah. Everyone's heard of fight or flight, right? You either, when you encounter something, you either run from it or you stand up to it. There's another response. It's called freeze. So these animals will actually stand completely still until they know if it's a danger or not and then they'll get a move on or hide even better a rhino face book right over there by that pile of poop <laughs> that is how they communicate after all now we also have tombo our male hanging out over there in the shade we do have five white rhinos tombo is the only male and then he has four beautiful girlfriends the white rhinos are the only social rhinos our rhino horns are made of <clears throat> Not bone, that's the true horn, but that's a good guess. 
cartilage? Yeah. It's not quite cartilage, it's hair. It's a protein called keratin. We find it in our fingernails and in our hair. Now, because it is keratin, they can shape it however they want. They'll soften it up and then file it against rocks and trees, just like we file our fingernails. Now, do I have any mothers on board? Yeah. I thought I had a few. Okay, I have to tell you about the wildebeest moms. So impressive. In a herd, in the wild, all the females give birth about the same time. They flood the market with babies, so it's impossible for the predators to take out all of them. They're also very protective of those babies. But even before they're born, the moms are very protective. Now let's say it's that day, mama wildebeest goes into labor, and a lion approaches. Very vulnerable spot, right, to be caught mid-labor when a predator's approaching you. However, as long as baby's shoulders have not passed through, mama wildebeest can stop labor, get up, run a few miles at 30 miles an hour until she feels it's safe again, and then finish giving birth. Piece of cake, right, Mom? Totally piece of cake. We're, we're going to find a really good spot to stop, and we do have some adorable babies right now as well. We also have Wilma the Maasai ostrich. She is a little bit of an oddball. Her favorite, her best friend is a giraffe. So she lives over here. These are the reticulated giraffe, one of nine subspecies of giraffe. And reticulated is a big fancy word, means net-like. So they kind of look like brown animals with white nets thrown over them. We did have five babies born last year, so everyone go, oh, there you go. Hi, Cupid. This is Cupid. Everybody stay right where you are. I'm going to get some lettuce. That's all right. Now hold on to it tight. Make or take two bites. Go for it. Nice and high. Nice and high. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Make it take two bites. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Make it take two bites. Up and over. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Three bites. <laughs> All right. Perfect, sweetie. All right. Have you guys come on in? Have you guys come on in? <laughs> All right. Oh, good girl. All right, wonderful. So everyone will get to have, get another chance to feed her, okay? So as soon as I hand out the food, please give it to her. We don't like to tease her with it. We want her to like us. Just a minute. You haven't got that. Thank you. Did you get one of me doing it? Go, on, Mum. She's waiting for it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh, she's <laughs> It's so cute. It's just like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Sita doesn't have a personal bubble, so. <laughs> oh, she's very friendly. Are you sure? It's just, yeah, it's very simple, just like that. She doesn't mop as much as the other one. They just eat it with their lips, kind of like horses. Okay. Who else? Who else didn't get a chance? Here, did you get a chance, sir? Hold that your hand. Anyone else? Did I miss anyone else? Thank you. Perfect. Okay. All right, folks. So, get your last scratches in on them, because I have the last two pieces. And once the food is gone, their love is gone as well, okay? <laughs> now, the last two pieces are to anyone who can answer my trivia questions. We have seven bones in our neck. How many do they have? Seven. Seven. Hold out your hands. Well done. Perfect. Now look, she had to take that to her back molars. Oh, it would really crunch on it. That was gorgeous. Now, you saw this gorgeous long tongue. How long? In inches, is it? 15. 35. How many did you say? 15. Mm, a little bit higher. 16. 18. 18. 
Go ahead, so give it to whoever, it whoever you want. Yeah. Oh, this one didn't get that. Okay. All right. Perfect, folks. Get your last scratches in. Yeah, and that's Cupid's way of saying no food, no picture. <laughs> guys so go look at them and please tell me looking at these grevy zebra what color are zebras brown and white yes brown and white you can especially see it in their manes and their ears furthers conservation efforts all over the world through the sea world bush gardens conservation fund whether it's habitat restoration or wildlife rehabilitation like pd the pelican and beverly the mute Come on. Everyone watch your hands, please. You guys are now part of that, so keep holding on, but give yourselves a one-handed round of applause. Thank you for your contributions. Now I have one last question for you. Giraffes do not have fingers. How do they pick their noses? Yeah. That octopus. Oh, this is where we used to get the 
This is where you forget the beer in that one. Yeah, it's just the beer. That's amazing. No, it's not for Ah. Uh, Handy. No, you can do it yourself.